Oh god, that sun is bright. Okay. Okay, enough. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. So today I want to talk about something really, really, really cool that happened to me yesterday um, on Wednesday, the 10th of December. So we were in Amsterdam for school and um, we were going to some museum and we had to go to some sort of show. Okay, let me start from the beginning. I have been following a photographer for a little while and his name is Jordan and he lives in Los Angeles and um, I have seen some pictures on Instagram which he posted of this young Good looking kid, <laughs> and his name is um, Lucky Blue Smith. <laughs> I'm not a fangirl, but I just, it's just so exciting. So, we got permission to walk around Amsterdam for like 10 minutes to spot him. And if you have ever been to Amsterdam, you know that Amsterdam is quite big for Holland. And, um, so, uh, we had to go back and I personally was really like sort of disappointed because I didn't get to see him but we told <laughs> we told our teachers yeah we saw him he waved from his hotel room but we didn't actually see him but we thought like man it would be awkward you know like oh yeah we were walking around Amsterdam but we didn't find him <laughs> our logic so we were walking to this show and um, this girl like who I was with my friend she said, this totally looks like the hotel he's staying in. So I looked at the picture she had because he tweeted out a picture of his hotel. And I was like, this is the exact same hotel. And like five minutes later, he tweeted like, um, yeah, I'm in the, the Amsterdam American Hotel or something like that. So I was looking around like crazy to like, I wanted to know if like he was standing outside or if, like we didn't see a massive group of girls. So we thought, nah, he's not outside. And he wasn't. And uh, we stopped looking and we turned the corner and there right next to his hotel was our theater in which our show was like playing. We got inside and we got our tickets and we scanned the ticket. We got like half an hour left before the show started so I was like, I asked my teacher, Miss, can we please go to his hotel? Seriously? And she said like, well okay then. You know the rules? Okay, go. So I ran outside and I stood there right in front of the hotel. I tweeted him once saying, please, please, please come outside one more time because we weren't able to make it in time because we're here for school, please. With two exclamation marks, one like crying emoji and one heart emoji. He followed me back right after I tweeted that. So I was freaking out. It still says Lucky B, Lucky B. Smith follows you. Oh, so right after he followed me, I said like nine or something. So I was like, Lucky, can you please come out outside one more time for me? Like I was freaking out because we're running out of time and I was just so stressful because I wanted to meet him like crazy. So I'm here for school and I'm right next to your hotel. It would mean the world to me. I don't have a lot of time, please. I'm outside your hotel, please come out. Okay, I'm spamming you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but please, please, please. This is like my only chance to meet you. I'm begging you, please. So after a little while, like two minutes waiting, he messaged me back. Okay, coming, sorry, hold on. So I freaked <laughs> once again and um, I said, thank you so much. So we waited and we just, it was freezing outside. So we went inside and then there were like two older guys who were staring at us and they were said like, oh right, there he is. So we like, I was like, what? And there was no one. So <laughs> that was great. We heard the elevator. So I turned my head to the right. And there <laughs> stood Lucky Blue Smith. The first thing that I did was this. It was like this. I stood like this. Like, seriously, if the camera was lucky, I was like this. <laughs> Hi! Um, he said, like, do you want to go outside? I said, sure. So we uh, walked outside and we were, like, we were talking a little bit. So I said, like, can I take a picture with you? And he said, yeah, sure. So we took one normal one, just like, 
casually mates and then we did a kissing one and that's my favorite it's on my lock screen on my home screen on my whatsapp background i tweeted it i posted it on tumblr i posted it on instagram <laughs> it's most probably the thumbnail of this video as well so lucky was just the nicest the seriously the nicest person like that like a known person i have met in a long long time he was just so nice and sweet and gentle and he was just like okay he wasn't like he wasn't just he was just like a normal guy even though he has like 200,000 followers on instagram and and a lot of girls post his pictures on instagram and tumblr and stuff because he's hot he is just so down to earth and just so nice so uh, after a little while of talking we said our goodbyes and I walked into the theater and everyone who sat there was like and what did you do so um, I just said well I took a picture with him and they were like oh my god congrats I would have never thought that he would come to Amsterdam and meet me like he just came down for three girls. He seriously made my day. I'm not the, quite the person to make a video about this, but I think he's just such a nice guy. So I guess that was my experience with Lucky Blue Smith. I still can't get over the fact that he actually could time to come down and meet us. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I guess. I hope to see you next Thursday. And yeah, I guess I'll see you soon. If you wonder why the lighting has changed all of a sudden, it's because I was um, just editing the video right there and um, I noticed that I didn't thank him. So Lucky, if you're watching this, I want to thank you for coming out and taking the time to talk with us, take pictures with us. You seriously made my day and you're a really cool guy. <laughs> Take care, be safe, and see you next Thursday.